Sakachi TV. Sakachi TV. Sa Ooh, my butt hurts sitting on this flow. Uh, Saga G TV. Saga G TV. Saga G TV. My buns. My buns are too plump to be sitting on this flat surface. Okay. Anime overview is when I talk about a few anime. A few anime. And then give you my, give you a bit of a, 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 a sprinkle about what it is sometimes i might spoil it for you if you've never seen it sometimes i may not um you just gotta hear everything i gotta say to realize if i spoiled it or if i haven't and uh give you my opinion on how i felt about it that way you get a general vibe of what the anime is about and like are we vibing when it comes to these animes are we on the same level of liking the same type of enemies or not so the first one I'm about to mention today woo, is Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, okay, some people say Yu Yu Hakusho, other people say Yu Yu Hakusho, and I'm like, I'm on the Yu Yu Hakusho game. Yu Yu Hakusho, Yu Yu Hakusho, it don't matter. Either way, this is, this would have to be my personal favorite number one anime. I think behind it would be like Death Note or something like that. I don't know. I can't start naming like the other ones. My number one favorite anime as of late and it's been hanging in there as the top anime for the last easily 10 years. It's been my number one anime. It'd be Yu Yu Hakusho. <sighs> now, I know you're like, but what about shows like Jujutsu, uh, Juj uh, Jujutsu Kaisen and all this stuff? No. Don't get me wrong, those anime are fire. Storyline, bomb. Graphics, bomb. Or I'm saying graphics, animation quality, bomb. Audio quality, bomb, all that. It's just something about nostalgic shows like you can't get past. Yu Yu Hakusho is one of those shows. So let me tell you real quick how the Yu Yu Hakusho. I remember when I was, uh, a youngster, a child, I had to be, I don't know, like eight, nine, or 10, one of those. I remember being up like a good 10, 11 o'clock at night up. And I would remember that one of these shows, that show would come on, Yu Yu Hakusho. And I didn't like love it like that back then. I just, it would come on, I would watch it. I didn't memorize or really like remember episodes like that. It wasn't until I got in college that I really appreciated the show. So I didn't watch all the episodes when I was a kid, nothing like that. I just remember watching it as a child and liking it. When I got in college, I was like, you know what? There was the show that I remember watching as a kid and I liked it. What was that show? There was a dude that had a gun, a, a, a gun hand and a guy who had a gun sword, I mean a hand sword. What was that show? Looked it up, Yu Yu Hakusho. You know what? I'm going to buy that show the whole season, season one through four, because I remember liking it. Don't remember. Turns out of that show, I maybe seen like 10 to 15 episodes of that entire show as a child. Because when I rewatched it as a, high, uh, a college student, I was like, I don't remember none of this. You know, what's crazy is that I, college student, first year of college, I was broke, but I was like, I want something to watch. So I bought a TV sitting in my dorm room. I need shows to watch. Bought that show. Bought two shows. Bought that show and bought the entire season of Smallville. Different story. But I bought that show and was like, ooh. Why did I buy this show? Say, first episode, I put the disc in back in when DVDs was a thing. Put the DVD in. Wa start watching that anime. The first episode, I was like, dang, I spent my money on this. Because it looked it old. It looked it, not grainy, but the animation style was older. So I was like, dang, I spent my money on this. But I remember liking it as a kid. You know what? I'm going to finish it because I spent my money on it. By episode five, I was like, yep. I remember why I liked it. You Yu Hockey Show. So premise is this kid uh, and tips to save a little boy life. 
he dies in the process he dies unnecessarily because the little boy's life truly was never in danger the spirit world or heaven think of this like heaven was like yo you shouldn't have tried to save that little boy he would have lived without you trying to save him but since you tried to save him we're gonna do something special for you we're gonna make you basically i don't want to say angel because he wasn't angel. we're gonna make you a spirit detective where you go around stopping demons from like roaming earth and like causing havoc that's the only way we'll bring you back alive into the human world he's like all right i'll do it if that means i get to go back home and live again he, now mind you he's one of those not an outcast but and he's not a troublemaker but at the same time he's not a goody two-shoes boy he's a fighter all right eventually the storylines get deeper and deeper because demons start to slowly get more pronounced in human world get stronger getting bigger things start happening more demons to defeat yada yada blah 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 that's basically how it go down he's like the protector of the human race this um yeah that's the gist and every season you're like the bad guy gets stronger and stronger oh my gosh the taguro brothers matter of fact wait a minute they just made a uh not not a not just a few months ago a live action version oh wow i forgot about that a live action version of you haka show on netflix and honestly, I watched it, but at first I was reluctant to watch it because I was like, no, not my show. We already know when they do live action versions of anime, it is trash. 90% of the time, 95% of the time, it is trash. Now, the 5% of the time, it'd be shows like One Piece. They did a live action of One Piece liked it thought it was thought it was really good maybe some people true one piece fans out there was like no they didn't do it justice i'm like well i liked it better than the anime so <laughs> the the live action you have to show i was like i don't want to watch it because it's not going to hit like i wanted to hit and it is going to disappoint me it did not disappoint me now there was some stuff in the live action version that they had to switch around in the in the in the stuff in the anime that they had to switch around the live action version. I get it for two reasons. First off, uh, budget reasons. I get it. I get it. Second reason I would suggest, I would think is because they don't want it to play word for word like the anime version. Because it's like, well, we could have just seen. No, why would they? None of that. We just could have watched the anime if you was going to do it exactly like the anime. But no, most people, if they, you see live action version, they're going to want to look at it exactly the same way. I, oh wait, they, I remember they did a full Adam Malcolmist live action version. I also watched that one. That one didn't touch, that, that one didn't like, it was okay. It didn't, it didn't really, they was trying to shove so much, so much of it into the, the live action version it didn't vibe. I'm not trying to talk about uh, full, Adam, full Metal Alchemist. I've talked about that already. But uh, Yu Yu Show, I did like the live action. I think they did it justice based on whatever budget they had. Um, too bad they couldn't do the giant arena and they and they only did it up to a point they did it up to season they did it up to season two of the anime which is wild to me my thing is when if you're gonna do a live action version of an anime adaptation especially a four year anime four year i mean four season anime do it all the way in a live action version. Don't do half and then hopefully to be continued. Will they give us enough money to make a part two? Don't do that. It's just waste our time and theirs. Cause then we're hoping for a part two. These are the ones that's truly like a fan of it. Now I'm acting like I actually paid to watch it. Technically I did because it came off uh, came up, came on Netflix. And if I pay for the description, I'm paying to see that. So yeah, I would like to see a season two. Let me just check really quick if they're going to do, um, like I said, it says it has yet to be renewed on Netflix, but it says it's off to a strong start because I really, I really liked when I'm, uh, matter of fact, what caught my attention, you know how you, you turn on Netflix and then you'll be moving around and you leave the remote alone. And if it stays on the show too long, it start automatically playing a tra- trailer. What happened is. The TV is on. I'm walking through the house, and all I hear is said, and suddenly 
na 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 dang they got me now i gotta watch it because i was like wait a minute i'm like i know that song what is that song i know that song is that dang it's the live action oh man they playing the theme song in the show I gotta watch it now. I gotta watch it. And so that's why I, I gave in and watch it. There are, you know what threw me off? I thought, first off what threw me off, was it Karama? Oh, no, it wasn't Karama. It was, uh, it wasn't Karama that threw me off. It was Cool Barra that threw me off. What threw me off about Cool Barra is that I'm like, so Hiei looks like Hiei. Karama look like Karama. Yusuke look like Yusuke, but why does not Kubara look like Kubara? Why does he not have orange hair? Why? Why? Did you test it out and it was like, no, nah, we don't like him with orange hair. Now I get you might not be able to do that long, funny looking hair shape, but at least make him a redhead. You made him blonde and not just blonde. You made him two-toned blonde. Was you, was you trying to make it more realistic? But you act like nobody can dye their hair orange. He dyed it blonde. So what? He, that his, his iconic hairstyle, iconic hair color. And you know why I'm so frustrated about this? Because Kurama, you know what? I, I just said Kurama when I meant Kurabara. Have I been saying Kurabara, Kurama this whole time? I've been saying Kurama this whole time. I don't know why Kurama, uh, Kurama is on my brain. No, I've been saying Kurabara. Kurama is the yellow hair, I mean pink hair boy. I am getting all confused up because my focus is on uh, Kurabara. I'm so frustrated that Kurabara did not have his orange hair. And the reason why I'm so frustrated is because Kurabara is my favorite character. I know you think, well, why not Yusuke? Why not Kurama Rose Whip? When I was a younger, I think that's what, it, what kept my attention. I'm on Yu Yu Hakusho a little bit too long. Maybe I should get off of it. Uh, but Cool Bar, I mean, uh, uh, Karama, I think, is what kept my attention when I was a kid. That's why I liked the show, him. But as I got older, oh, no. It was Karama, but it was really Yoko Karama, the other version of Karama. It's you, it's cool bar though. Now that I'm older, that's who my friend. He is a G. He is all about his friends. A little bit too much, kind of to me. It's like, bro, you're putting yourself in desperate. I mean, like unnecessary situations. And at the, truthfully, at the beginning, like you didn't even care about you like that. You forced that friendship on him. If we're being honest, but cool bar to me is the best. Is one of the strongest. Not that he could take any of them on, but I'm like, he was a simple human. He is better than Yusuke, if you think about it. Yusuke was given all his abilities. Sure, he worked. I mean, once he, he was given to him, once it was given to him, then he honed his skills. Core bar out the jump was like, I am spiritually stronger than all y'all. Or at least Yusuke, should I say. Because Core bar didn't need to be given any abilities. He created his own strength off his own self. Cool bar is cool. That I'm gonna I'm get off cool bar. Dang, how long have I been on? No way. I've been on Yu Yu Hakusho for that long. Ooh, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> well, I guess this is gonna be a long one. Uh, or I'm gonna just go through the next ones real fast because it's the ones I don't care about like that. So, Black Butler. Mm, trash. Didn't like it. So, Black Butler, this rich snobby boy uh sold his soul to be waited on hand and foot by a demon who disguises himself as a butler uh and at the end of the contract the demon gets to eat the little boy simple as that uh you think it sounds more interesting as it really is because the little black boy is very posh and snobby and wants to do all these little side things it's just it's not my vibe it sucks I don't like it. Uh, Tokyo Revengers, uh, Saya Kizenhin, or whatever. Tokyo Revengers. Uh, initially, it was an interesting concept. This boy traveling back in time. Somehow he's able to travel back in time. He's trying to stop these gangs from becoming rivals or this one dude from becoming such a big head gang member uh, that eventually one day kills his girlfriend. Or, um, but he keeps going back in time. He's not able to save the girl. Actually, not, I wouldn't even see keep going back in time because at first it was like, cool, this is an interesting concept. 
but then they don't really use that sci-fi element. Like you start off showing sci-fi-ness and then you show it one or two more times. This guy can travel through time and I guess you want to make it more about the gangs, but at the same time you threw sci-fi time travel in there. Let's develop that more. That sounds cool. So, I mean, it's really a, just a, a fist fight, fist, fist, boom, boom, bam type more of that. I mean, it's supposed to have some form of friendship in there or whatever and loyalty, but it's uh, it's not something I really like got into. Um, maybe I'll end it here. Let me see what this one is really quick. Because uh, sometimes I'm, uh, I, I write down the names and then I don't remember what the show is. Oh, uh, I don't. Yes, this is an anime. Ogretsuko. Ogretsuko. The little red fox panda thing. I've watched all the seasons. Um, it was okay. <laughs> Simple as that. It was okay. It was cute. Very. It's a very uh, little fox. Everything. All of them are anime. I mean, all of them are animals living, showing their lives, living mundane lives as like human beings. You know, what, what's it like for you to have a sucky boss or... or giving out your frustrations or whatever. Uh, I thought the show was okay. There was this character that I liked the most. He was, I don't know what he was. Was he a weasel or whatever? His name was Todd. He was the one of the most hilarious characters there because he was just like, this something wrong with that dude. But uh, other than that, I, her name was Retsko. So Agresco is what the show is called. Uh, five seasons on Netflix if you want to watch it. Uh, it's not for everybody. It really isn't. It's one of those, I ain't got nothing better else to watch, so I'm a third song kind of vibe. Um, nothing to write home about. But I'm going to end it here because it's going to be extremely long. Yeah, that's long. So, but thank you for watching Saga GTV. Saga GTV. Saga GTV.